good vision. Mbappe. Mbappe. <laughs> what a goal. Ah, <sighs> don't you guys just love scoring insane goals like that one? I mean, I just rainbow flipped the goalkeeper with bloody Mbappe. I mean, that was something special. Something insane that goal was. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed that little 10 second clip or however long it was. But um, as you can tell, I'm a bit of a skiller. I like to do skills. If you want to see a bit, some more clips of me, uh, you know, doing some fancy old tricks in the book, then uh, just leave a comment down below. But anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the squad builder, baby. <laughs> Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy RRB Plays here back again with another YouTube video with another squad builder on this channel. And as you guys can see by the title of this video, I'll be showcasing an insane overpowered beastly 300k squad builder in FIFA 19. So if you guys do like the sound of that one, then don't forget to smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new around here and watching this video. And also if you do subscribe, turn on post notifications so you guys never miss an upload. But without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and dive into this amazing, amazing 300k squad builder. Let's get it, let's go, baby. Okay, so as you guys can see on your screens right now, we will be using the left wall, right wall formation to um, set our team and to put our players in uh, these sort of positions but I want to say to you guys that after we've built this team I will guys I will tell you guys to change um, to a different formation because um, I said I think there's a, a much overpowered formation um, that you can use with this team so I suggest that when you go into game you change into the formation I tell you but I'll tell you guys at the end of this um, at the end of this team once I've built the team so you guys know how to organize your play players in that certain formation I tell you so let's go ahead and dive into the first player of this team we've got an absolute beast we have a beastly little inform he's able raid he's small nimble agile and he goes by the name of Wissam Ben Yedda the Frenchman himself 84 rated inform with Sam Ben Yedder. This guy's absolutely insane. And I've loved him for so many FIFAs now. Since like FIFA 17, I've loved this guy. This guy's been so, so insane. And like every FIFA, he just seems to have these banging informs that he gets. And honestly, I just love playing with him. Five star week for four star skill moves. Absolutely insane. Um, his finishing and pace are just hard. Oh, they're just beautiful. 88 finishing, 92 attacking position, 90 acceleration, 85 sprint speed. 90 balance 94 agility guys 94 agility and 87 uh dribbling this guy's absolutely overpowered one of the best strikers in like the best um like well one of the best strikers in fifa 19 apart from you know your ronaldo's and icons but with a price range that you can relatively afford yeah he's one of the best strikers i'll tell you guys that from now but honestly with some are absolutely insane um on in the left wall position we do have again another beastly uh, special card he's a ones to watch and he goes by the name of quincy promise and again another card that i've used before and i love it five star skill moves and i'm pretty sure it's three star four star week for a uh, four star week for that's it five star skill moves again another card that i really really love to use 88 finishing 92 sprint speed um 89 agility uh, 86 dribbling so again we've got another technical player here in the team and again he's just so so insane and again his finishing stats at 88 like Honestly, guys, this team is absolutely insane. I'm not going to lie to you guys. This team is absolutely insane. So, let's move on to the right forward position to complete um, the front line, to complete the attacking force. We do have Arjun Robin. And don't stress now, guys, this guy's not going to be playing out wide. He's actually going to be playing Cam because I've used this guy before. And when I played with him, I played with him at Cam. And honestly, I'm just going to tell you guys, I really, really, really love this guy at Cam. I really thought that this guy was so good. And his finesse shots are absolutely insane, especially with his um, left foot. Of course, yes, I know his weak foot isn't the best, but I'm telling you, um, he makes up for it with his left foot because honestly, the ability he has on the ball with that left foot, especially those finesse shots from outside the box. That's why I love playing with Cam because I just receive it from uh, the, like the edge of the D. Um, and I just bang a long shot, I bang a finesse shot, and honestly, it just goes in top bins. But that's what Ruben does. He's an absolute beast in this game. So let's start off with the left centre mid. Uh, to start off with this midfield, we do have the stud in this team. He's been playing CDM, and he goes by the name of Casemiro. Casemiro, again, I don't really have to talk much about this guy. A lot of you guys know how insane, how beastly, how overpowered this man is. Again, he's just a stud, and honestly, defensively, I just rate him so much. 89 strength, 87 aggression, um, 90 stand tackle, 87 slide tackle, 87 interse interceptions, and 88 jumping. Along with, uh, yes, I know his pace isn't... Um, the best in the game 
But honestly, it's defensive stats and jump pick stats, they really, really do make up for it. And Casemiro is not actually a stud in this game. So go ahead and get him, guys. Honestly, go ahead and get him. So let's move on to the central centre mid. Again, he's going to be playing centre mid in the uh, switch formation. Uh, we have um, a little five-star skiller in here. And I've actually got him in my team myself. We do have uh, Thiago. Again, 87 rated Thiago. Not his 86, 87. And again, uh, I packed this guy recently in one of the SPCs, like the 82 to 87 guarantee. I managed to get him off the train so many, so many times. But um, yeah, I used him for a bit, and again, I loved him. 90 dribbling, uh, five star, uh, five star skill moves. And yeah, man, Thiago is just a little technical player who likes to link up the play. And so you just do little one twos with this guy, and honestly, yeah, just links up the play, links up everything, and it, he just works so well in that centre midfield position. But anyways, to partner up with uh, Thiago in that centre midfield, we do have uh, the boy Leon Goretzka. And I used him at the beginning of FIFA and I loved him so much. He was just His work rates are just insane. Like, he's just everywhere. Honestly, he attacks and defends and he can like he can finish, he can defend, he's physical, he can dribble, he's fast. And he's got a good passing. Like, honestly, you can't go wrong with choosing uh, Leon Goretzka in the team because honestly this guy can literally attack and defend he can do anything in this game and his work rates are also insane like he's just everywhere on the pitch you know when you're attacking he's there when you're defending he's there like honestly he's just a beastly card you guys need to hurry up and go and get this guy so let's move on to the right back and in this right back position you guys might laugh at me with the choice that I'm about to make but we do actually have a stud and I'm telling you guys yes I know he's not the fastest but defensively this guy's insane and I didn't think he was good um, when I saw his stats but I was like you know what I need to try this guy because uh, I need him for the chemistry and may I just say phew, mate it was worth it it was bloody worth it I'm telling you Lars Bender is an absolute beast in this game like honestly I still got him in my team because I think I packed him I packed him untradeable when no he's still tradable but um yeah I've sold him and bought him a lot of times but um yeah I'm telling you Lars Bender is an absolute beast like defensively he's so so good i'm not even joking like i'm not lying 86 stand tackle 82 uh, uh slab tackle 86 interceptions like honestly he's not bad honestly please please give this guy a chance because you guys might laugh and think oh yeah this guy's trash but honestly from experience from my personal experience this guy's been very very good and very very overpowered and i love using this guy's card so let's go on to the other fullback now most of you guys probably won't laugh at this choice a lot of you guys know that this guy is good or should know that this guy is actually very good in this game we do have a um, not lewis hernandez what's his first name again i actually forgot his first name lucas hernandez i knew it was something along the lines of lewis or lucas but yeah we do have um lucas hernandez a3 rated left back he's got an a2 card but his a3 card is his upgraded version so we're going to use that because this one is better but um yeah again Lu uh, lucas hernandez is a very very good card in this game 84 sprint speed 85 stand tackle 88 slide tackle and uh, 83 interceptions and 85 uh, jumping. Now, these fullbacks are very, very good defensively. Like, honestly, this is why I'm telling you, this team, it works well. It works so well. I can't even get my words out for you. But, yeah, it really, really does work well. So, I want you guys to trust me on this one. Um, but, um, yeah, these guys are very, very insane and overpowered. So, let's go ahead and move on to the center back partnership. Now, to start off in right back, I'm just going to go with a cheap, overpowered beast in the name of Jonathan Tarr because... The man I'm about to tell you is going to be partnering up with Jonathan Tarr. I don't think you guys are ready for this one. But of course, we have the cheap beast himself, Jonathan Tarr. Again, I don't have to say much. A lot of you guys know he's about 2k, but he gets the job done. Honestly, 71 pace, 83 defending, 81 physical. This guy gets the job done. 88 stand tackle. He's 83 rated and he's got 88 stand tackle. He's got 84 uh, slide tackle, 18 deception, 72 jumping, and 93 strength. Honestly, this guy is a cheap beast. I don't know how he only is the battle, like 3 or 1.5k, something something along those lines. But yeah, this guy is an absolute beast. Like You guys need to hurry up and go and get this guy because he's just a cheap overpowered card to use in FIFA 19. But the big boy in this team, the big centre mid, plays for Real Madrid. He's a Frenchman. Now, I've said this, you guys probably already know who it is. Of course, it's going to be your boy, Rafael Varane. Of course, it's going to be your boy, Rafael Varane. 86 rated, Rafael Varane. He honestly just gets the job done. Like, this guy's an absolute beast of card. And I don't really have to say much about this guy, do I? Because you guys know how sick he is. 87 slide tackle, 88 stand tackle, 82 interceptions, 84 strength, and 85 sprint speed. Just have a look at those... Um, pace stats that like, honestly he's a center back and he's got 85 sprint speed and 83 acceleration honestly 
Like, I mean, I, don't, I know I don't have to talk much about this guy. You guys know, all the pro players out there know how sick Rafael Varan is in this game. So, to finish up the team, to finish up this 300k squad builder, we do have a Champions League goal, uh, goalkeeper. And he goes by the name of um, Ralph. 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 Is that his first name? Ralph. Ralph Farman. Um, 84 rated Champions League card. And Farman, I'm surprised that is it. I actually don't know why he's a non in this game. But um, yeah, he's actually a pretty decent goalkeeper if I say so myself. I actually really, really do rate this guy. I think that he's very good. Um, 84 diving, 83 position, 88 reflexes and 82 handling. This guy is a cheap beast. Again, I really do recommend Rafael Farman. But we are not done here. Um, yes, we've done the team now. Like I said at the beginning of this video, I'll show you guys a formation to switch to, and I actually do recommend the four, um, the four one two one two narrow. If I can actually find uh, the formation, I yeah, I do recommend the four one two one two narrow formation because this formation is indeed just honestly, it's just so so insane. So in the CDM position, we're gonna of course have your boy Casemiro. Um, left or right CM is totally up to you. Um, for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna put Thiago left centre mid and Goretzka. Uh, right centre mid, but that's totally up to you. It doesn't really matter what side they're on. Um, Robin, uh, Arjun Robin is going to go Cam, like I said, and then Quincy Promise and Ben Yedda are going to go up top. The deadly striker duo, honestly, these guys are absolutely insane in this game. So please, guys, go ahead and get these guys because they are absolutely overpowered. And um, yeah, obviously the defensive lineup will stay exactly the same. The same. So guys, this is how you're going to structure the 300k team. But make sure you do this once you're in the game, guys, okay? Remember that. Make sure you're doing it whilst you're in the game. So you go into the game and you pause the video, uh, you pause it straight away and then you create a formation. Or you can even create a custom tactic preset where you can just like like switch, uh, press one of the arrows in your controller and then switch to um, switch to attacking or ultra attacking or defensive or ultra defensive. But um, yeah, this is the 300k squad build. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys are new around here and you are watching this video, then uh, yeah, please don't forget to subscribe and also turn on post notifications so you guys never miss an upload. But it's been your boy RB Plays, and I'll catch you in the next video, guys. Let's get it, let's go, man. We out, baby. We out.